So we went to um, uh, Ross Hansen's place first, and he's been no-tilling um, since the 90s or before on, on most of his ground, um, and he does some custom planting also, no-till planting for some of his neighbors. This is the field of, of Ross, Ross Hansen's, and he was planting this field this particular day. So there's, you can see the heavy residue on the soil from last year, uh, obviously a corn crop. Ross was planting into there really with uh, with relative ease there was good soil structure that was involved and he wasn't having any uh, any issues with with planting obviously he wasn't having any issues with really any low spots or wet spots that he couldn't get through there was pretty good soil moisture conditions out there but because of the structure that's been built in that field uh, the soil health practices throughout the years he was um, having a good uh, good day planting in fact he planted this whole field while we were kind of doing our shoot and he had, he had to move on to another field so it was really good planting conditions. And you can see right there in this shot, there's a lot of residue out there. Uh, it was really, really quite thick, which is good. It's good ground cover. It's protecting from erosion. You know, talking with Ross in this field, it's actually pretty a sloped field. It's got pretty higher percentage of slopes on there. And it, um, you can see he's kind of going down one of those slopes here. It may not show it that well from an overhead shot, but um, this would be one of those fields, if it didn't have good ground cover and we get those heavy spring rains, you would definitely have erosion out there. But, Based off the good soil structure out there, we should be fine.